Ngayon, kung titignan natin itong uh, Omicron na ito, karamihan po nang naapektuhan talaga at napupuruhan ay yung mga walang bakuna. Alam natin at napakita ko sa inyo kanina at talagang dumadami ang kaso. Pero, awa ng Diyos, masira pa, no? Yung severity at vitality so far ay hindi po ganun, no? Pero yung mga walang bakuna ay talagang talagang sabihin na natin na talagang delikado sa kanila. Purpose my dear friends sa mga sinabi ko kanina mga data ng Metro Manila Council on lahat ng alkalde ng Kalakang Maynila gumawa sila ng technical working group kasama na ang ibang mga mga tao ng IATF mga mga eksperto no of course ang si Secretary Vince ang dito mga legal ng MMDA na bumalangkas nito at ito'y pinakita namin sa mga meeting namin kahapon sa mga alkalde ng Metro Manila. In principle, nagbotohan kami rito, subject to form and style, no? at ito'y inaprubahan nila. Babasahin ko ho ito ngayon dahil ito'y importante. Ang tawag rito ay uh, sa enhanced vaccination uh, restrictions. No? Ibig sabihin, kung, 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 kung ikaw ay uh, hindi pa bakunado, yung mobility mo ay maraming restriction. Para na rin maproteksyonan ka, ito'y habang meron pa yung alert level 3 na nangyayari ngayon. Okay? So ang title is Urging the Metro Manila Local Government to Enact Their Respective Ordinances no? uh, of the... Uh, enhanced uh, restrictions no, to regulate the mobility of the unvaccinated individuals in the national capital region. So, ang una rin sinasabi, ito yung mga dahilan kung bakit. Whereas the NCR has been placed under alert level 3 from January 3 to 15 in view of the rising cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines. Whereas the advances in public health and economic gains that have been achieved in the recent months under alert level 2 must be sustained and preemptive measures must be adapted in order to forestall and immediately address the perceived adverse uh, impact of COVID-19, especially the high transmittable Omicron variant upon the NCR under said alert level. There is an array of available COVID-19 vaccines in the NCR and more than 100% of the region's target eligible population are now fully vaccinated. Whereas the global experience evidences that the COVID-19 vaccines are and continue to be effective against the virus, including the Omicron variant and prevent severe infection cases and avert the need for hospital care. Whereas, however, despite the availability of vaccines, there is a number of individuals who adamantly opt not to be vaccinated and thus become more susceptible to the severe cases of COVID-19 and will in turn require hospital care, thereby unduly burdening the health system. Okay, whereas under Republic Act 1332 or the mandatory reporting of notifiable diseases and health events of public health concern declares that it is the policy of the state to protect and promote the right to health of the people and still health consciousness among them and the state recognizing epidemics and other health emergencies as threats to public health and national security, which can undermine the social, economic, and political functions of the state. Whereas there is an urgent need for the Metro Manila local governments to enact their respective on the enhanced restrictions on uh, vaccinations, to regulate the mobility of the unvaccinated individuals in the NCR for the protection of public health, promotion of general welfare, and sustainability of an improving economy. So, ano ano ito mahakbang na ito? No? Kung makikita nyo kanina yung mga were as close, mahirap na tayong magsarado ulit. Napakabigat yung magsasarado tayo ng kamukha ng araw, ng ECQ, ganito. Ito'y bagong variant. We must learn how to live with a variant. No? Kaya itong mahakbangin ito'y ginagawa. 
ng mga mayors ng Metro Manila. Okay. So, ito'y in principle na pag nila. Number one, yung mga walang bakuna or unvaccinated. No? Number one, they shall remain in the residences at all times for the except for the procurement of essential goods and services such as, but not limited to food, water, medicine, medical devices, public utilities and energy, work and medical and dental necessities. Provided, however, that individual outdoor activities or exercise shall be allowed within the general area of the residence that is within the barangay, Purok, subdivision or village, subject to the guidelines of the Metro Manila local government units. So parang ano rin ito, parang um, para kang uh, like ECQ only for the unvaccinated, no? for their own protection. Pwede silang lumabas, uh, dapat nasa bahay lang sila, pwede silang lumabas kung bibili na sila ng essential goods and services. No? Uh, not limited to food, water, and medicine, medical devices, public utilities, energy, and work, and medical and dental necessities. Ngunit, inuulit ko, pwede sila mag-exercise within their own. Ito'y, ito'y ano nila, kamukha rin nung nandun sa ECQ, no? Doon sa kanilang barangay, purok, subdivision, village, subject to the guidelines of Metro Manila. Number two, be prohibited in indoor and outdoor alfresco dining in restaurants and other food establishment and shall likewise be prohibited from leisure or social trips to malls, hotels, e event venues, sports and country clubs, and similar facilities in accordance with the guidelines of the Metro Manila local government units and concerned establishments. So, bawal silang kumain indoor and outdoor in restaurants and other food establishments. No? And shall likewise, bawal din, prohibited from leisure to social trips to malls, hotels, events, venues, sports, country clubs, etc. Number three, be prohibited in domestic travel via public transportation by land, by sea, and air, except for the procurement of essential goods and services such as but not limited to food, medicine, medical devices, public utility and energy work, medical and dental necessities subject to the produ production of proof to support and justify such travel. Number four, ito po yung nakasaad na sa IATF, inuulit lang po ito natin dito, no? Ito yung existing na. Be required to undergo a reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction or RT-PCR test every two weeks at their personal expense and present a COVID-19 negative result prior to being admitted for work on site consistent with the guidelines, rules and regulations issued by the IHF and the Department of Labor and Employment. Provided, however, that in the event that the RT-PCR test or result is not immediately available, a rapid antigen may be utilized in the URL. The foregoing rule shall also cover individuals who reside outside of the national capital region but who work in our travel to the national capital region. Any individual and our establishment found to be in violation of uh, the penalty of this COVID-19 protocol shall be prosecuted in accordance with the penal provision of the applicable ordinance to be issued pursuant to this resolution without prejudice to further prosecution under the provisions of RA 11332. particularly in Section 9, Letter D and E, on prohibited acts in relation to Section 10 of penalties and a fine of not less than 20,000 pesos, but not more than 50,000 pesos, or imprisonment of not less than one month, but not more than six months, or both such fine and imprisonment at the discretion of the proper court. Furthermore, any individual establishment who will falsify COVID-19 vaccination card shall be prosecuted under Act Number 3815 of the Revised Penal Code as amended.
pursuant to Section 12 Republic Act 11525 or the COVID-19 Vaccination Program Act of 2021. No? This resolution shall be in force and effect while the COVID-19 alert level in the National Capital Region is at alert level 3 or higher and shall automatically be lifted once alert level 2 or lower is declared. Inuulit ko, ito'y temporary lamang. Ito lamang ay habang nasa alert level 3 tayo o mas mataas na 4 para maproteksyon din mga walang bakuna. Sana maunawaan po ng lahat ito.